Hi everyone! Welcome to Tea Talk with Ayumi. Brewing financial conversations one sip at a time. For today's video, I share ko sa inyo ang top 5 investment tips para sa mga gustong mag-invest. So, as you guys all know, investment is the best way to improve or palakhin ang inyong yaman, ang inyong wealth. But, of course, this comes with a risk. So, it's really important for you to be educated first or to research bago kayo mag-invest. Just to make sure, kasi nga, ano siya, risky siya, just to make sure that you know what you're doing. So, we'll start with top one. First is diversify your portfolio. What I meant by that is i-diverse ninyo ang inyong investment. Um, for example, sa stocks or sa real estate or sa bond or any other um, investment na you have in mind. And of course, it should be something that you're interested with. So the reason why I suggest na i-diversify niyo siya, it's because this will lessen the risk of malulugi ka. Kasi nga, if, if this one thing is not doing well, at least you still have the others that you're earning that's generating income for you. Kasi nga, as I mentioned earlier, investment is a risk, so it's better to divide it. So if this one doesn't work, you still have the others. If this one doesn't work, you have the others. It's you're still making money from it. Because it's it's still a trial and error, just like business. It's it's business, guys. Top two, understand your risk of tolerance. So before investing, you have to assess yourself um, if you will be or if you're gonna be comfortable with everything that will happen in the future when you invest. Kaya it's really important na you educate yourself kung ano yung mga na pangyayari when you invest. Um, learn from other people's experience para you can prepare yourself what will happen emotionally as well, not just financially. Kasi um, what happened kasi... For example, nag-invest kayo sa stocks, tapos biglang nag-fluctuate. Of course, that's inevitable. It can happen. Tapos, syempre, um, emotionally, you're worrying, you're worried. So, ibibenta nyo agad yung stocks nyo for a very cheaper price. That means wala kayong nakuha in return. But fluctuation can happen. for It could be for a short period of time or a long period of time. So, my possibility na if ibinenta nyo agad ang stocks ninyo, tapos after nyo binenta, biglang tumaas ulit. So, ba Sayang. Right? So, you have to prepare yourself para hindi kayo padalos-dalos ng pag-decide. Um, one thing I also meant about understanding your risk um, tolerance is also... Um, how comfortable you are with losing money. So, dito papasok yung emergency fund. Um, prepare kayo, as I mentioned on my previous video, ng at least 3 to 6 months worth of your uh, monthly bills para in case na there's something wrong or nagka problema sa investment ninyo, hindi maapektuhan ang inyong daily um, expenses or monthly expenses ninyo sa bahay. So long as you still have food to eat, you still have roof on top of your head. So long as yung part na yun, that that area is not affected, that's okay. ba? Because investment are just extra to like build your wealth. It's not everything. You can't bet all your money into that. Kasi nga, it's a risk. You have to be patient as well. Kasi it's not, um, it's not a one, one night thing. Like for example, like invest ka today and after a night, your, your money grows. That's not how it works. Okay, top three, long-term perspective. Yung mga successful investors so far, sa mga napansin ko, they take long-term approach. Ang long-term approach, guys, 
this is why I said earlier na you have to be patient kasi nga long term approach ibig sabihin matagal matagal yung return but malaki sa short term market normal lang ang fluctuations it can happen but if yung investment strategy nyo is well thought and may focus kayo sa inyong long term goals and talagang pinag-aralan nyo yung movement ng prices pagtaas at pagbaba if pinag-aralan nyo yun you don't have to go to school to do that you just need to like do like an in-depth research you'll benefit from compounding returns over time diba? ang fourth naman is stay informed you have to keep researching, watch the news. Makichismis kayo kung anong mga balita or balibalita sa, sa when it comes to business or investment world. Kasi staying informed means na alam nyo yung pangyayari and you will know what to do next. Or you can, if you have a specific strategy, you can probably change your strategy to something better that would match what's going on in the investment world. Depende din kasi sa kung saan kayo nag-invest. Let's say real estate, stock market. Diba? So make sure to keep yourself educated and informed. The top five, this is one of the most important, syempre, is to plan for retirement. Alam naman natin, we won't be working until we're 70s, 80s. See, I, I do suggest retiring early um, kasi para naman ma-enjoy nyo yung life nyo. If work lang kayo ng work without any preparations for retirement, pag nawalan kayo ng work, how are you gonna feed yourself? Diba? Kasi what I noticed talaga these days, people are living paycheck to paycheck. Eh. So that's why it's really important to have like a side hustle Please don't forget to check out my previous video about it. If you need ideas on how to start hustling, then better check out my previous video. Going back, merong mga nag-offer ng mga life insurance. Meron ding, um, make sure to pay your SSS so you can get your retirement benefit. It won't, I believe it won't be a lot. So that's also one of the reasons why you really have to build your wealth as young as you are right now. You can start so long as you have the the means to and if if you don't have the means to you can prepare but yeah anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to visit www.gameape.cc to enjoy hundreds of games and earn extra while playing so yun lang Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe Game 8 Philippines. Bye!